Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're drinking red wine and talking about bad dates. We're gonna need the whole bottle. Absolutely we are. So feel free to join in with us if you're of age. We'd love for you to have a little drinky poo by our side. Aww, cheers everyone. Cheers everyone. Cheers, don't ig ignore the dirty glasses. Delicious, but yes, That's that glass is embarrassing. I think this got brought up in the truth or drink video where I had described a really bad date that I had gone on and then we asked you guys if you'd want to see or hear about more story times of bad dates. Yeah, we, we've, uh, we've built up quite the library over our years and experience. We wanted to do a story time video for quite some time. Mm -hmm. So here we are, first one, bad dates. We're just gonna jump right into it, uh, but <laughs> no we're not because the first thing we must do is get a thumb blast if you want Look at you. I've learned when you say things to add yeah. to add my own thing. Yeah, ready? Thumb blast, notification bell, subscribe. So I was on a date in university. I think it was it was first year, and I went over to his building, which was next door to ours. So we were in the caf and we got some food and we were just sat down talking. He said, Do you know what I really like about you, Holly? And I said, What? He goes, You're a proper lady. And I said, What do you mean by that? And he goes, Well, I mean, the look is there. You don't swear. You're not masculine. Um, you've got a small frame and just I've really never heard you swear. That's my favorite thing about you, that you don't swear. And he just kept going, talking about how yeah. women shouldn't swear, how it's not ladylike. Sorry, question, just a little mid yeah. thing here. Um, you, how long did you know him for him to think you don't swear? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I swear like he really he didn't know you at well, all. To be honest, I said, I swear a lot. And he goes, No, you don't, Holly. And I said, Yes, I do. <laughs> I think I know, I know who this is. He played in your soccer, soccer team. Yep. Co ed. Lovely, lovely chap. Yep. And that was the last time I spoke to him. He really knew nothing about you <laughs> then. Like, that. My core is swearing. <laughs> <laughs> your middle name is. <laughs> I'm just jealous of your tiny frame. I've never been called a tiny Paige and her tiny frame. He didn't say <laughs> it's Paige and that giant head. I couldn't believe that he had the audacity to say that to anyone. You don't want somebody that's doing all that, mm -mm. trying to Too make much. these man roles and woman roles. That's the one thing. It's like um, I don't know what century this is. Like medieval times here. This one. This is. This is. This is the one. This is the one. I gotta set the scene here. Before I had ever come out as gay, me and this boyfriend, uh, we were too young to drive, so uh, we wanted to go on a date, and the date of choice was going go-karting. Fun, love that. Don't need to hold hands or cuddle or be intimate, so I, I was all for it. So my mother drove us there. We enjoy our day, very fun. Then my mother comes to pick us up, and we decide we're going to return back to my family home, but before that, we're going to go to his home, because we'd like to go swimming, so he needs to go pick up his bathing suit. And let me just say, this whole time we're go-karting, I'm having a blast, but I'm also realizing that I'm starting to feel a little bit sweaty. It's fine, like I'm having a good time. I'm just like, oh, like a little warm, uh, must be just from driving around the go-karts. We start taking off, we were in the middle of the country driving home, and I, I am now uh, extremely past the point of overheating, and I'm sweating, and I'm, suddenly I'm realizing my stomach, my stomach's about to do an oopsie, <laughs> and I have very limited time, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, we are leaving the countryside, I have to get to his home, get his bathing suit, and then drive to our home, which was only five minutes away, but getting there was 15 minutes, okay? Mm -hmm. So we've got quite the drive ahead of us. We arrive at his house and I am, have you ever had to use the eau toilette so badly that you physically couldn't even understand anybody's language or anything that was said? I, I was so focused in on clenching my own buttocks together. I couldn't say a peep, I couldn't say a peep. <laughs> he goes inside, he leaves the car to go get his bathing suit. My mom is there in the car with me and oh, the second he leaves, I rip one. I'm telling you, I had no control. I didn't want to be rude and do that, but I did. And when I did it, my mother looked me in the eyes and said, you're not my child anymore. No, but in her head she did because of the, how badly it was. I'm telling you, we were on the fence, on the fence. And I go, mom, I need to go home. She goes, well, we'll, be, we'll go home in a minute. He's just grabbing his bathing suit so that you can go swimming. I go, mom, if I don't get home right now, I will shit 
in this car seat. <laughs> He's coming out the door, I see him leaving his front door, and I go, no, mom, mom, go. <laughs> she is forced to step on the gas. He's coming out to the car with the bathing suit, literally leaves his house. Mom floors it. We pass him on just dead straight ahead. He's like out the window like, what, I got my bathing suit. <laughs> we get home, I bolt it to the bathroom, and I just lose it. I lose all control, all sanity. I'm surprised that- <laughs> That you made it. I'm surprised that the- House is still standing after that. <laughs> now, while I'm there, mom has run back to my boyfriend to pick him up. Even though I asked her not, she explains to him the situation at hand. And he came and he saw me, and I didn't know he knew until I saw his eyes look in mine with that disappointment. And I knew he knew. We both knew. I'm not gonna have as much dramatic flair. That's as okay. You. But this was scarring in a different way because I had no idea what to do when this happened. First of all, he took me on a first date and it was a really nice date. Second day, we go to his house and we're in the basement. First red flag was the five or six cats. And I was like, oh, you have a cat? And he goes, I have six. And then he names them. Anyway, so I think we were watching a movie or something. And he goes, are you hungry? He goes, are you thirsty? And I said, uh, oh, what do you have? And he goes, oh, I can get you some chocolate milk if you want. And I'm like, no, thank you. By the way, important detail, this man worked out three times a day, every day. He was a big gym rat. So he just had all kinds of chocolate milk gallons in his fridge. Right? Why? I think they, isn't it protein? I don't take the drink. And he goes, do you want a snack? And he comes down and he says, sorry, like I didn't really have any snacks for you, but he's got something in his hand. So I look over, this man had an entire head of romaine lettuce, the pack of three that he had ripped the top off. So it was about three inches showing. So he's holding the romaine packet like this and he goes, <laughs> Just right in the romaine. I didn't know it was three. Like Holly. an apple. And I'm just watching him and not knowing what the hell to do. <laughs> I could not have run out of there faster. I sure hope that was the last date with him. It was. Thank God, because that's, that's, you're getting in the weird zone. Do you know what else was the final kicker, actually? After he had finished his snack, he had showed me his newest purchase that he said that he had saved up for, and it was the individual toed shoes, because they would help him lift. And sorry, just on the topic of food and bad dates, I do have a quick little other one that just came to mind. Okay, sorry, I'm just wrapping my head around the toed shoes. Let's call this man... Papa John. So this was in high school. I was at his house and he decided to cook us a pizza. It was taking ages and I, I'm like, what's going on here? Like an oven pizza. It's not like this guy like tossed it around and did this homemade sauce. Like just straight out of Delicio. the box into the oven. Boom. Delicio yeah. pizza. First of all, he's really struggling with the oven and it turns out that he hadn't removed the cardboard under the pizza. So that means that all the air circulating underneath is just hitting a now soggy piece of cardboard that is now infused with the pizza dough that is completely raw and the top was burnt no. and uh, and he still cut it up and ate it no oh. did you eat it no what is with the food stories what is with the men not being able to handle food correctly you deserve so much better i do deserve better however at least those men made the effort to cook me food to be honest right love bug because I do the majority of cooking in this relationship and I would kill to have you cook for me and that's a fact. I do cook for you. What's this last time you cooked? Right now. Oh no, what have I done? I can't cook. What the hell am I going to make this gal? Hmm, let's see. Oh. <gasps> Oh my God, why didn't I think of this before? Thanks, HelloFresh. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit service that makes cooking at home and impressing your girlfriend fun, easy, and affordable. Basically, all you have to do is go online, pick your meals, portions, and delivery date, and wait for the goodness to arrive. Their service is super flexible. You can choose recipes that fit your lifestyle, such as low carb and veggie options. And you can skip a week whenever you need. I can impress her in other ways that week. The box is filled with individual bags for each recipe. And all the ingredients are pre-portioned, meaning less prep and less waste. It saves us so much time throughout the week and the food tastes amazing. Even us non-chefs can whip this up in no time. Watch out, Ramsey. 
God, that's amazing. Oh, if you guys are interested, you can go to HelloFresh.com and use our code Paige and Holly12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. Thanks, HelloFresh. Thanks. Cheers to HelloFresh. Cheers. And more bad dates. Yes. All right, um, we're gonna go into more of a sad, mellow vibes. Bring it on. This one is one that we discussed in last video, which was the date that I was stood up on. This is me and now on to a woman in my life, okay? I have now entered gay bliss, or so I think. And I am now with a girl who I like, and we're supposed to go on a date. We'll call this girl um, elderly. <laughs> Okay, she was older than me. You like that, that's good. No, senior citizen. Yeah. Okay, me and senior citizen uh, are now starting to talk, get to know each other more. I'm like, okay, this is kind of cool. She's older than me, like loving that senior citizen vibe. My older, I'm really only made a few years older. Let me clarify <laughs> that. I was very excited. She said, do you want to go to the movies? And I said, sure, super exciting, ready to go. And she's like, I'll see you there. So there I am waiting at the bus stop. I get on the bus, I get to the movie theater. I get no reply on my messages. And I'm like, I'm here, like, can't wait to see a senior citizen. And she doesn't reply, doesn't reply. Suddenly it is literally like the actual movie time started, but it's like the trailers and shit. But I'm out there, I'm still not in the movies. She texts me and goes, oh, sorry. I actually ended up not being able to come something came up I'm really sorry um, but you can go to the movie without me I'm there like me people that can do go to movies and go on dates and do all this shit by themselves props I cannot even go to the mall alone I am like dreadful I can't do it I get so scared and nervous I really am. there I am at the movies stood up head to bus home the thing that pisses me off most about mm. that is that she said it to you as a favor like I can't mm. come but you can still go little tyke thank you so much senior citizen yeah. I always wanted to see this movie alone she is a dumb bitch there I said it she stood up this this to me is gold like the best thing that has ever walked the face of the earth and this bitch stands you up tool there, I said it, I'll fight for it. I have another story that may anger people. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anger is the right word, maybe a bit of relief. So this guy from my business class, we bumped into each other at the bar and we both had said that we recognized each other and we got to talking and all this stuff, exchange numbers, great. Anyway, he took me out to dinner at a really nice place. So I'm like, oh, he's like, he's got money. And then he picks me up in a brand new souped up Jeep. We can call him Jeep boy. And then he spends the whole dinner talking about how his parents trying to keep pushing him to work at their law firm and that he would rise to the top so quick. So uh, anyway, he drops me off and I like zoop out of there. I'm like not hanging around for him to try and kiss me. I'm like, bye. A couple days later, <laughs> I'm at work at university and I was telling my uh, friends about this date and I described him a bit and they're like, is his name Jeep Boy? And I go, yeah. And they go, don't you ever f see him again. And I said, what happened? So this girl's best friend went out with him and she had like hurt him in some way. So this guy was in a frat and he printed out nudes of her, her nudes, he printed them out and displayed them all over his frat house and around the surrounding part of the city. Um, so much so that she had to file a restraining order against him that week, that week that I went out with him. What a piece of trash. Mm. I hope he was sued. You think that I can't get angry and I can't get whatever? I'm telling you, if anybody tried any shit on you at a bar, at a thing, at a thing in the past, I will literally split them in half. I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm your final, final go of things. We're gonna hit a home run on this one because this is truly the story of how I realized I was actually gay. I'm not sure about all of you guys out there, but there was a moment in my head where things really just began to click. Like I knew I was attracted to women. I knew that for sure, but it was kind of like, is my attraction for men even there? Does it exist? So here I am with, I'm gonna call him, gonna call him Bud, that's yeah, it. Bud. Me and Bud are dating, okay? So dating to him, he's thinking romantic. Bud and dating to me, he was very much so a friend in every instance that I possibly could. I made sure we were with multiple people where there was no romantic situations. So me and Bud, we've been dating for a while now, but then this one day we were over at, at his parents' house and I'm getting concerned now, okay? We are watching a TV show, 
thank God we're around his family. I'm like, okay, I'm in the safe zone right now. Everything's fine. We're all just vibing. Then he goes, well, do you want to go up to my room? We get up there, we play some video games, and then all of a sudden he's like trying to do anything and we're just kissing and whatever and I'm just like okay like this is just I hope this is done real quick like just the kissing part I'm just I'm over this all yeah. right now and then um, he leans me on his bed to kiss me some more and now he is kissing me on my neck and all of a sudden my eyes open and I'm just staring at the ceiling questioning everything like, I feel nothing why I don't feel I feel anything yes. I should be feeling something is yes. he the right guy what is wrong with me is the ceiling popcorn ceiling yeah. or not I'm back there and he's kissing Kissing my neck, thinking he's all sexy, Mr. Romeo, and I am there like I could not be in a worse place right now. <laughs> and I'm like, Paige, settle down, you're fine, everything's okay. And I'm like, no, like I don't, this is too much. And I'm like, halt. <laughs> He's like, what? Like, everything okay? I'm like, I just need to go to the bathroom. I get in the bathroom, and now that I've stood up, you know, blood rushes to the head, you're suddenly, everything's spinning. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be sick. And I <laughs> go over to the toilet. I did not eat before I arrived. There was nothing in me. I, I didn't have food poisoning. I had men poisoning. And I had to get it out. And I literally dry heaped in his toilet. Your Truly. body literally rejected it. It rejected it. And I, I, I didn't have food or I would have thrown up, but I, me over the toilet is. <laughs> And he, uh, I'm there and I'm trying to be so quiet because I'm like, oh my God, this is so rude. We've just made out and there I am running to the bathroom. I'm like, oh my God. He goes, you okay? I'm like, I think I need to go home. <laughs> and it was on that drive home that I realized my body really did reject men. Absolutely. And that was the final straw. Yeah. I'm gay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wow, this is quite the story time. Wow. We've had our ups and downs, our, our highs and lows. Sad, happy, upset, disappointed, um, relief. Horrified. <laughs> I don't know. I had a lot of fun with this. Did you? I too. I, said, I think the wine definitely helped. It did. Um, it did. But I hope you guys liked this too because <laughs> we've got we've got many a stories we could tell. Not necessarily bad dates, but other Just story times and experiences. Alright, we're gonna go now. We love you so much. Thank you for watching. Bye! Bye.